A frontside 360 is a trick that every snowboarder should learn. This tutorial will walk you through an easy way to learn your first front three. Spinning on a snowboard has two main components. The first is popping, moving up and down, getting your snowboard off the ground, which is predominantly done with your legs. The second component is rotation, adding momentum to create spin movement, which is predominantly started with your upper body. The difficult part of learning a 360 is timing these two movements together. Jumping on a trampoline will help with your timing. On a downward bounce, wind up with your arms and shoulders, then on a bounce upward, release into a frontside spin. Your upper body initiates the spin, and after you pop into the air, your lower body follows around. For a front three, you don't need to look all the way around. You spot your landing blind, similar to how you land a back one. Try to keep your spins as smooth as possible and practice here until they're easy. On the mountain, jump some frontside 360s with your board off. Without a trampoline, you have to put in more effort, but the timing and skills are the exact same. The most important aspect of spinning on a snowboard is to initiate from your edge. Being on edge gives you grip with the snow and something to push away from into your spin. Traverse across a run on your heel edge, wind up and jump a frontside 180. Now do the same but put more effort in. Wind up a little more, pop harder with your legs and release faster with your upper body. If all goes well, you'll spin a frontside 270, landing on your toe edge and end up riding downhill. Jumping off your heel edge is quite difficult. You may find yourself doing more of an ollie or sliding on the snow as you release, which is fine at this point. If you can get good at your frontside 270s while traversing on your heel edge, you'll quickly be able to learn front threes with a jump. A heel edge side hit is a jump that forces you to approach on your heels. You'll often be crossing a run for a side hit, so be very careful that you're not cutting anyone off and that people can see you from above. The important thing is to find a jump that helps assist your pop, but gives you room to approach on your heel edge. Start with a heel edge straight jump and focus on getting strong pop. It's ideal to get at least one foot into the air. Hike back up and hit the same jump with the same speed and pop, but this time add a small amount of wind up and release using your arms and shoulders to perform a frontside 180. You may only get 270 a few times, which is good enough at this stage. You don't need to look all the way around to your landing. Instead, use a blind landing where you focus more on where your board is touching down. Blind landings are covered in more detail when hitting park jumps. This tutorial was filmed at Whistler Black Cone. You're riding with Snowboard Addiction. Our goal is to improve your riding.